What is going on everybody? It is the Chick-fil-A Cows here bringing you guys some Rocket League and I know this is not the usual thing that I upload. I think I've uploaded a Rocket League video in the past but I think one of the main reasons I would get so burned out on Madden is when I was busy doing other stuff, uh, you know, trying to graduate high school, other stuff. The only time I really had to game was when I was recording and when I was recording I was obviously recording Madden. So. I didn't really diversify my games, was pretty much just playing Madden exclusively, which didn't really go that well. You know, playing one game would, would just add to the fact of getting burned out combined with, um, excuse me, combined with a lot of other stuff. So for me, Rocket League is one of those games that I can just relax, play, listen to music, and just have fun. And it's a lot, a lot of fun. If you guys um, are at you Xbox users, I'm assuming are the last ones to get it since it just came out two or three days ago. I highly recommend it. It's only twenty dollars, which for me is I've gotten a lot more replayability out of this game than I have out of other sixty-dollar games. So I would highly recommend it for you guys. It's a lot, a lot of fun. I have heard some people say that it does get a bit repetitive. I mean, I guess it would for some exact same concept. You know, soccer, ball, basically cars, rocket powered just over and over and over but for me it can get a lot of fun especially when you get up higher in the levels you get better at the game and you play better opponents normally the matches get a lot more exciting people don't make as many mistakes you add in aerials backflips crazy passes it can get a lot a lot of fun now at the moment I'm actually playing on PC which um, I used to play on PS4 you guys saw that but uh, I just didn't feel like playing paying $50 for PSN a year considering that was the only game I played So I got it on Steam free online, and it was like 15 bucks on sale So definitely worth it now I'm using Nvidia shadow play if you guys are wondering which first time using but seems to have worked uh, Very very well, so I was pretty pretty happy with that now at the moment you guys are probably watching this and thinking Man, this game is pretty bad. Not the game, but I mean the game I'm playing. You know, my teammates are playing bad. We're getting beat 2 nothing. We get a pretty decent goal right there. You know, passed to myself. The defense fell asleep. So make it 2-1. But you guys would be right. This game is very, very boring at the moment. The gameplay is pretty bad. I make a stupid decision right there. I don't know what I was doing. I was like going back for the boost. I don't know how this wasn't a goal. Pretty dumb by me. But that's the reason why I'm uploading this for you guys. Um, Rocket League had, and I'll get to it in one second, but Rocket League had a mode called Snow Day, which was basically the same thing, same concept, except instead of a ball, it was a hockey puck, and it was supposedly on ice, even though you didn't slide around, but it was a lot of fun, the puck would slide on the walls a lot better, wall play became like 90% of the game itself, and it sounded a little bit more boring, even more simplistic, but it was for me a lot of fun, I just liked it, changing it up. So for about two months, that was the only game mode that I played. So this is me a few days ago, first time playing Rocket League in about a week. I want to say that a couple days after I started, I played this again. So coming back from that to this, just it was a huge shock, you know, just trying to relearn everything I already knew. And then after a couple days, I was like, you know, okay, I'm playing all right. I'm feeling a little bit better in my abilities. I've never played ranked, though, or competitive. I've never played competitive. So I was like, okay, let's let's try that out just for fun. And this is what you guys are watching, competitive right now. And for some reason, people in competitive take it a lot more seriously. A lot more cursing, a lot more yelling, a lot more what a saves, you know. But for me, I was just, just trying to try out new things. And I thought it would be a lot more fun in a way because I thought it would be more challenging and in a way it is getting put with worse teammates starting off with is quite the challenge <laughs> but um, it's also sometimes more difficult if you get with people that are more experienced so uh, reason I, I was I had a whole point bringing that up oh okay I'm getting back to it now but you guys are watching you're probably thinking this is just awful and you guys are right my guys are playing very very badly uh, I'm playing very, very badly. I've scored one goal, had another messed up by a teammate, but I definitely have not really helped defense-wise. And after that fourth goal, uh, you guys just saw, my teammates in competitive, there's a forfeit option. You, most of you who know, most of you know this who've played it, but if you know, you gotta have all three members of your team hit forfeit, the game obviously ends and it's game over. Two out of my three teammates wanted me to do that, and I was like, oh no, you know, no way. You guys have been playing terrible, I've been playing terrible, I'm not, at this point I was still pretty mad at them, I'm like, I'm not gonna let you guys off that easily, we're gonna finish this game whether win or lose, and you know, 90% of the time, we're probably gonna, we're probably not gonna be able to come back and win this game. I mean, we were down 4-1 
with like a minute 30 left, a minute 20 something, and right there you guys already saw two back-to-back -back goals, and all of a sudden, 4-3 in like 18 seconds, we've scored three goals, it's a tie game. The whole point of this is basically to show you guys, do not quit games. I know most of people do, uh, I've never quite understood that, I've never quit a game, especially not in competitive. But I've never, I've never quit a game. Just you know, especially like football. If you don't throw that hail mary, you never know. If you don't go for that onside kick, you never know. And right there, we get that fifth goal. So in about uh, 35 seconds, we scored four goals just like that. Took the lead. I'm like, all right, let's play it safe. Let's play defense. He's thinking the same thing. Ball goes over here. I'm like, okay, I gotta make something happen. It's not over yet completely whiff on it right here but i was still pretty pumped at this point i was like no way we just came back from that in competitive so 30 seconds to go the ball is going the right direction my teammate with the shot my teammate coming in to clean it up and i'm just tapping it in teamwork there we go six four and just like that you guys can see how quickly a game can change in less than a minute five goals and I don't know really what happened. I mean, we were playing terrible. It's like a switch just got completely flipped. And you guys can see how exciting Rocket League could be. And for the knockout punch, if it wasn't already over, it definitely is right there. One of their teammates actually quits. So 7-4. to four. After my guys wanting to quit, if I had hit quit, you know, we never would have done this. And most of the time, we probably never will be able to pull this off. But a switch got flipped. We were able to come all the way back 7-4. to four. And pretty much sealing the game. So that's pretty much it for this episode. I think I finished with like four goals, four shots, one assist. Pretty good accuracy rating there. And eat more chicken. That's all for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys all next time.